guys, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Leisure RV Center of DFW. Right behind me, I've got a 2024 Midwest MD4. This is a Weekender Passage. It's a Midwest Passage MD4. We've got four comfortable seats up front. This thing makes a bunch of sense if you want to ride from point A to point B in class and in style. Can't wait to show it to you. The 2024 Midwest Passage MD4 Weekender Edition. Three of my favorite things about this unit, starting with the fact that it's got air ride suspension. Number two, and this might be my favorite, all four captain's chairs up here are power, heated, and massage. Boom. And number three, I have power shades all the way around. One, two, three. Four. Hey, before we get started, let me go over some dimensions for you. So feast your eyes on this guy. You're 24 feet, two inches long from the nose to the tail. Holding tanks, you got 27 gallons of fresh, 24 gallons of gray water, and 14 gallons of black. It's got a 2500 quiet generator, LP generator on this that's super quiet. When I say super quiet, you'll be able to tell because I've got it running right now. Love this color. You got dualies and off-road tires here in the back for good traction. A beautiful coach from front to back. So you'll notice that we're color matched on the running boards all the way around. It's a classy unit. So I often say with Midwest, if a, if a yacht and a classy personal air, airplane for somebody had a, had a child, it'd probably be a Midwest because you're riding in style all the way around. Is this a camper? I don't know if it's a camper so much as a way to get from point A to point B and C and D in style. Two couples or three couples that want to go to East Texas or go, you know, on a five hour road trip together and ride in style have all the conveniences and comforts of home with a bath, a nicely appointed galley and ride in style. This might be for you. We're going to jump inside and I'll show you some of those aspects uh, here in just a second. This is the Weekender package. So as I alluded to before, you've got some upgraded flooring on the inside. Uh, you've got those power shades in there, beautiful coach. So uh, really, really neat options there. 12 foot plus awning here that extends out about seven feet. So when you're on, uh, when you're set up, maybe you're tailgating or something, you got plenty of awning coverage over here. Right here, I've got my uh, 110 power. So if I wanna have a table out here and have television or whatever I can do because I've got a coax cable as well as HDMI here wired right here on this side. This is a little uh, port for your propane fill. So simply undo this, drop this down and you have your propane fill. I've got a propane generator, so there's your propane fill. Go around the front and we'll do a quick lap around this before we go on the inside. Mercedes-Benz chassis, so this has all of the safety features that are coming with 2023, 2024 plus uh, Mercedes-Benz chassis. This is a 2024 cornering fog lights. Uh, once we get inside, we'll list off a bunch of the safety and cab convenience features on the Mercedes-Benz. Adaptive cruise control, four camera system on this guy, lots of, uh, lots of neat and safety features. Coming along on this side, you've got one door over here, which is going to be for your, what I would call your utility bay. So we'll drop this down. We've got our macerator hose right here for emptying our holding tanks. Now this is uh, interesting because it's a power retract. So you've got your hose reel in there and you're going to want to make sure that you let that feed in right to left so it doesn't kink. You also want to be careful once you retract it all the way in, or if you pull it all the way out, you don't let it loop around because it's going to kink this hose and uh, possibly do some damage. So be careful on how far you uh, retract that. You got your black valve gray, your waste dump switch right here, which again will pump this all out of here. Over here is our fresh water fill and then our black and gray. Uh, ports in order to rinse out those tanks. You always want to make sure those valves are open before doing that. So this is your one utility 
uh, bay. Your cable inlet right here, so if you have cable uh, at your campground, and many of them uh, do provide that, or state parks, or even some fairgrounds, hook your uh, coaxial cable on there. Now you'll have cable programming on your smart TVs on the inside of the coach. This coach actually has an Apple TV in the front. Both TVs are smart, LG in the front, and I believe it's Insignia in the back, but they're both smart TVs. So once you put your cable hook up there, you'll have cable out there as well. You want to make sure, see this red dot? You want to make sure you can't see that when you lock that, that may, may make sure that that's secure. We've got dualies in the back, and you can see the generator is running right now. It's not super hot today, but I've got the AC running on the inside of the coach, and I'm standing right here next to it. So one thing I appreciate about LP generators is, in fact, how quiet they are. Detachable 30 amp power cord back here. Not a lot to see here in the back, but I'll open it up to give you an idea because you will access this for storage. So you've got some storage under here for some lawn chairs, bag chairs, and that kind of thing. Um, seat belts here, which are not, uh, they're just still got our rubber bands on from the factory, but you can uh, put these up through here. So I can put three folks in the back here, and then I've got four very comfortable captain's chairs up there. So a couple couples, and maybe their kids, three couples, however you slice it, plenty of comfortable and safe seating positions on this coach. Of course, this drops down to a bed. I'll show you that to you in a minute. I can also access this storage compartment from inside the coach as well as back here. So if I want to be loading some stuff up here again, some bag chairs or some big items from outside, I can do that easily from the back side of the coach. Now, one thing that uh, Midwest does that many manufacturers don't they take all of this out and insulate behind the doors. They do that on all doors. A lot of times you'll see just metal on a manufacturer from the Mercedes-Benz chassis and they do nothing to it. There's no more insulation than there was when it came from Mercedes-Benz. So uh, uh, Midwest is going to take these all out. They're going to they're going to build this window framing in all of this and it's going to be insulated behind it. You can kind of get a glimpse of this flooring right here, this weave flooring. It's a waterproof one-piece weave flooring. Feels good to the bare feet. Um, it's the same kind of stuff you would put in a boat or a yacht because it could be power washed out. Not that you would do that in this coach uh, necessarily, but it's a very durable uh, material. Go ahead and close this up. Talk about our hitch for a second. You have a 5,000 pound hitch, so you can pull a small boat, a golf cart, or even a small automobile back here. Something like a Ford Escape Hybrid, for instance, you could tow back here, a small Jeep Wrangler, and then you have your seven pin uh, connector back here too. Now we're all wheel drive. This uh, model, the, the passage will come in a rear wheel drive or an all wheel drive. At the moment, now here in mid-August, I've got one of each. I've got a rear wheel drive as well as uh, the all wheel drive, which we have here. I do have solar up on top, so you're charging your batteries at all times when you have the sun. Now think of that as a trickle charger. It's not a super fast charger, but it's a good battery maintainer to keep your batteries in good, healthy condition. And that's important to keep those lights on, your ceiling fan running, refrigerator running off 12 volt, and those sorts of things. So beautiful coach from front to back. We've got a power door here. Just give it a tug and it's going to open up automatically. I do have a screen right here, so if you're at a campsite or you're tailgating, again, you're with another couple and it's nice out and you want to let the fresh air in, it's nice to be able to have this screen uh, like this. Now, I personally prefer this style rather than the roll-down kind that have Velcro around it and so on. This is a nice framed screen door that pops out of the way when you don't want it pops in here when you do. Now again, the door is power. Once you go in, you can hit this little switch and the door goes closed automatically. From the outside, if you want to close it, simply lift up on that handle and it's going to close. Again, color match running boards. 
with no slip tread all the way around. Really very classy. Man, I love this. There's a lot of fun stuff on the inside, so let's hop inside and have a look. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 2024 Midwest Passage MD4. Four seats up here, which is one of the things that makes this so special, in addition to being the Weekender Edition. But check out these seats. We've got our diamond pattern stitching on here, and they're oh so comfortable. Let's talk about Midwest in general. They're gonna take these seats out from Mercedes-Benz they're going to reupholster, redo them head to toe, everything. They're going to build all the cabinets in house at Midwest. And they're going to take all of this wood grain that you see and it's going to be hydrographed. So it's going to be matched front to back, matching the doors, matching the cabinetry everywhere. This just has a high end feel that's a kind of a challenge for me to impart over a video until you sit in one of these. It just exudes luxury and comfort. So, so very comfortable. I've got this screen pulled too, so it adds a little bit of shade here for our video, but we have a screen door right here, which I pointed out uh, when we were outside. So you can let that fresh air in, open the, uh, the windows, and then I've got a power vent up on top. So open up that power vent. You're in Colorado, a nice cool evening, and let that cool air come through. You can't see it yet, but we'll show it to you in just a second. But I've got a Apple TV right in front of me that I can watch going down the road. So this is so great. So you've got, uh, I, I think the couple that gets to sit back here and watch TV is going to be the, the ones calling dibs for these two seats because going down the road, perfect viewing angle for this TV up here. And remember, I've got a TV in the back too. So if you've got some kiddos or another couple back there, there's a good spot for TV, TV viewing over there as well. I'm just going to real quick hop over to this seat, or I can just stay here and point it out. I've got USB charging ports right here, so going down the road, you got to keep your gadgets charged, right? And there's also 110 here. Now we do have a 2000 pure sine wave inverter on here, so clean power available for as inverted power so even when the coach is off you're stopped at a Bucky's or something and you still need 110 power there is inverted power in here um, and I'm gonna get to our cooktop and so on back here which is an induction cooktop got our remote controls for our entertainment center speakers up on top so when you crank the sound Oh boy, does it sound great up here. Again, we've got our weave flooring up here, front to back, one piece weave flooring, very nice. Now again, our shades are motorized everywhere. So I can go up here to our multiplex panel and power all of the shades, go up and down. Make sure you're not pulling on those. As the sticker says, it's motorized. Don't be pulling on it because they're all powered right here. Get a close-up shot of this hydrograph. Look how nice that looks. We've got storage compartment up here, which you're going to use a lot because it's right up here in the front uh, cab area. So over here, we've got our battery, main battery on and off switch. So if you've had an RV, it's basically the 12 volt switch. This turns everything on or off. And same with your fridge. You can turn the fridge on or off separately. Maybe you're not gonna use the fridge, so just pop that off. But here's our, uh, if we go to home, you can see that we have our master light switch right here, our awning and porch lights. Check all of our tank levels. Here's our lighting control panel. We can dim them by simply holding down on each one of these lights. Our power consumption and our power source. So this is real handy. We have our generator start right here. Uh, we can tell that the generator is running. It's got a couple hours on it. We've got our go power. That's our solar controller. So you can see what's happening with your solar. All of your power consumption information is on this page. And then finally over here, we do have a wi uh, wireless internet on this, your awning uh, retract, and then our sofa in the back. You can recline from this switch, and there's also a switch in the back. Now the cool thing is, is you can uh, do a lot of this from your phone as well. Now, we're in a true B-class van. That means it's not a wide body. This chassis came from Mercedes and Midwest built all of the house stuff inside of it. So everything that you see in here, Midwest did. All of this, again, 
Very nice looking woodwork. Our struts hold the doors open so they're not going to boink you on the head and they latch securely for travel. Nice solid surface countertops and look at this nice red LED accent light along here. You can turn that on or off if you don't like it. I think you can even dim it if you'd like. But nice deep basin, stainless steel sink, high rise faucet. Pop that back in there so you have more prep area. Now here's a neat thing and, and it's a giveaway for their quality. Look at the dovetail joints. That's just not something you typically see in a recreational vehicle of any kind. Uh, you're lucky in many cases if you see solid wood drawers at all. But these are dovetail joints. This is what you would expect in high-end residential construction or Amish construction. Pretty sure there's probably a lot of Amish folks that work at Midwest since it's in northern Indiana. My home state, by the way. I grew up in Elkhart County, so yay, Indiana. All the way around, all these drawers. Very nice, and notice they're soft clothes. Got a little compartment here for those scrubby brushes and stuff. Little 3.5 cubic foot refrigerator. Again, runs off 12 volt or 110. Little freezer compartment. Everything's smaller in a B van, but how a manufacturer makes use of that small space varies quite a bit between manufacturers. It's so smart in here. Again, uh, more room than you got in an airplane when you go on a commercial flight, that's for sure, and it's very comfortable. Two burner induction cooktop instead of one. Just about every other B van that I see has a single burner. I guess, are they called burners if it's an induction cooktop? I don't know. Tell me, educate me. I call them burners. I guess they are, even though you're, there's no flame there. It's an induction cooktop. Two burner cooktops, what we'll call it here. Um, and then we've also got a trash can. I always ask for, where does the trash can go? And we have a place for the trash can. And another small little drawer there as well. Very, very handy. This has got a suburban water heater and your water heater control is right around the corner here. And you also have a GFI protected outlet right around the corner here as well. So um, before I get ahead of myself, microwave up on top here, big enough to warm up leftovers and make popcorn and so on. 13.5K AC up on top. Now let's talk about the wet bath. Just about every B van on the planet has a wet bath, and this one does too. Notice we have a nice textured glass shower door. As wet baths go, this is really nice. I'm just gonna open this up. There's a little locking deal right here. You wanna make sure that's in the locked position when you're going down the road. I'll just open this up um, so you can see. I've got a nice, I'm guessing a teak floor uh, mat basically you can take this out for cleaning but that's nice to step on that it's also not as slippery so here's another rarity it's a porcelain foot flush toilet not a plastic one that's a wet bath so everything happens in this one little room also it's solid surface in here this isn't plastic you almost always see plastic everywhere on other manufacturers um, wet baths so your little toilet paper holder under here, which keeps the toilet paper dry, of course, because we're showering in here, we're using the toilet, you've got the sink and everything. And uh, right here's our little shower wand. I've got a little deal I can pull across here to dry wet swimsuits and so on, and a vent here to get the humidity out. And there is a shower curtain around here to help keep this drawer door assembly dry. So most people opt to sit down while they do what they need to do in here, and there's plenty of room to do that. Now, just for spatial, uh, I don't know what I'm saying, spatial. All right, I'm sitting down here. We're going to cut it over. Just to give you an idea on size, I'm six feet tall. All right. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. So sitting in here, a lot of people opt to just sit down while they take their shower. It's easiest because if you're taller than me, it's a little hard to stand in here, but I am six feet tall. So I cannot quite stand up all the way, but I could stand up here and take a shower. But again, we're in a 24 foot package and the fact that I have everything in here uh, is pretty cool uh, and convenient to have. So most people are just gonna sit here 
pull this shower curtain around and it's going to keep any chance of water getting into these hinges in this door. And this shower curtain can be removed for cleaning. So pretty cool, very classy. It's nice to have that. Many folks aren't gonna use the shower at all. They're gonna use this again to get from point A to point B, then they're gonna stay in a hotel when they get here. But en route, or say you're off having a little picnic or something, you got a toilet in here, you don't need to go use the public facilities. Again, now that thing's latched securely, so that's not gonna open up during travel up here as well. I'm a big believer in pre-trip checklists and that should be on it. So before you put the coach and drive, I'd make sure that these are securely fastened. Go around and make sure the drawers are closed. If the doors are only like that, make sure they're closed all the way. It's easy to forget that stuff. I've made plenty of mistakes myself in the past by forgetting to do things like that. Here's our Max Air vent fan control so i can crank that fan open right here again pull some fresh air in from outside open it close it turn it on at different speeds now here's your one closet per se i've got a closet rod up there and uh, so if you get hang some shirts so they're not going to get wrinkly it's lined all the way around with padded vinyl so speaking of padding one thing i forgot to point out while i was outside is that all the wheel wells under this coach i have a spray foam coating so it helps keep the coach very quiet going down the road it adds insulating qualities but that spray foam underneath it's amazing how much quieter this unit is um, and boom air ride suspension i mean good grief that's usually reserved for the big diesel pushers, but you have air ride suspension on this coach. So uh, driving through Arkansas, I love you, Arkansas. I've got relatives in Arkansas, but I don't like driving through Arkansas. It's those expansion joints. Fa boom, fa boom, fa boom, fa boom. With this thing, you're just floating over it like air because you have air ride suspension. Now this is a neat part of the coach back here because uh, this is kind of a living area. This is the lounge area, if you will. I don't know, I was saying I'd call dibs on those two seats up here, but this is pretty nice back here too. So these seats are not rated for travel. Uh, these are back here. So we do have seat belt positions here, here, and here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people seat belt locations. I got cup holders on either side. There's cup holders everywhere. You got cup holders up front galore, but cup holders back here. And again, our TV. Apple TV up front, which if you haven't seen it, go ahead and turn around and look at that Apple TV. I apologize for whatever may be on the TV right now, but that's an Apple TV, smart TV. So if you got an Apple TV at home and you're familiar with that interface, easy to stream content. So satellite dishes are kind of going out of style and streaming's going in style. So with a smart TV, you can mirror content from your phone to that TV. This little LG TV right here is a smart TV as well. So this is kind of entertainment central. I've got my little touch panel back here um, for my radio, my Sirius XM radio, which I can control, touch pad here. Go back to the main menu. I've got our clock, AM, FM radio, rear camera. It can't be displayed right now, but you, have, you can look at your uh, cameras from here. And then Android Auto. Um, so Apple CarPlay and Android Auto up front and back here both. So if you've got an Android, you can sync it up here and you've got music and presets and maybe you've got Sirius XM on your phone already you can push that through these speakers without actually having a Sirius XM account in the coach itself. All right, that's probably a whole other video and more info than you needed. But there's a, look at this, there's a red accent light behind here that's probably kind of hard to see because it's so bright out here. And then again, along the counter. Now controlling lights and um, shades, right here's our Shade Master again, which I showed off already. It's simply as easy as that and I'm probably messing with the camera, camera lighting right here, so I'll open this back up. Now I can do them individually as well. I can control the rear reading lights on and off. All of our lighting and so on can be controlled from this touch panel. We've got USB charging ports right here too. 
Lest I forget, so for a B van, there's a pretty decent amount of storage. Besides that, this is your one of your biggest compartments here. This is an all open space up here for extra luggage and clothes and so on. If I open this up, it goes all the way to the outside door outside of the coach. So again, you can load things from the outside. You can load things from the inside. Again, we've got a strut to hold this open. And then over here, same deal as over here, just a smaller one. Now this has got a Timberline uh, diesel and electric powered heater right here. And here's your control. It's just a dial control for temperature. So, and it's a touch pad and that's a little thermistor right beside it. So it's sampling the air temperature. Okay, now what happens when we want to eat something? I've got a Lagoon table mount right here and that table lives in this bag. So pull this out. This is simply going to slide into here and I'll have my lagoon table right here. Now I have our lagoon table set up here and what's neat about this is it's got a non-slip surface. So if you have a drink or something on here, your laptop going down the road, it's not slipping all the way around. But check this out. I can have it here in the middle for these two folks. Pull it around like so for me. Get it over here out of the way. Any way you slice it, you can raise it or lower it. I just love these things. Good stuff. Okay, now if you want to convert this into a bed, it's pretty easy. If it's just one person, all you have to do is drop this rear part. But if you're going to have a couple sleeping, you're going to want to utilize this area too. First step is to recline this back seat. And it's simply hitting the button that says recline. And just like that, boom. I have, a, I have room enough to take a nap back here if it's just me. I don't know. Two people that really like each other could probably sleep there too. But if I want to convert this into even more sleeping space, they give you this, which is going to fit in here. And then you can see there's a little bit of a challen, cha channel right here. Put this in like so, and then take these seat cushions like so. And now I have a pretty decent sized bed. Pretty cool and pretty easy to do. That's about all there is to it. Now let's hop up into the cockpit and I'm gonna show a few things to you up there. Okay, now we're in the cockpit of this Mercedes-Benz chassis. It's real easy to get from the house up here because it is a cutaway chassis. All of the cab conveniences and safety features which you would expect from Mercedes-Benz are here. But a lot of additions from Midwest that you just don't see in other manufacturers. Look at this diamond stitching on these seats. Plus, you have additional support. Release this out, so depending on your body shape, it's nice to have that. These are really cool, and I mean cool, like in temperature cool and comfortable seats. Adjustable armrests. Our air ride controls are right here next to the driver. And then your heated massage power seats controls are right here so each one of these captain's chairs has your controls for uh good grief getting a massage going down the road how great is that but again the upgrades from midwest look at this wood woodwork around here that they've added from mercedes this matches the wood grain that you see back there the molding here over here around the controls in the door. So they're going to pop all these off, put this diamond stitching on either side of the doors. So I've got speakers uh, in the door. Our subwoofer is in the very back. So you've got a really full, nice audio quality in here as well. Now this one's option with a four camera system, which you see right up here. So I've got 360 views all the way around. You're going to use that one in the middle the most when you're backing into a campsite because nobody likes to back over their spouse, okay, or a tree stump or whatever. So four camera system. I've got power seats here all the way around and with presets, one, two, and three presets so you can control your back, the bottom of the seat. Again, these are heated seats and massage seats as good as it gets. We've got our power folding mirrors on the outside and then as far as the mercedes chassis goes up uh, i've got my smart system here asking how how she can help me i don't need any help right now but thanks for asking so uh the left side is going to control your cluster on the driver uh side going down the road 
So I can, it's basically like a little mouse where I can go through the various settings. And for some reason it's not doing it right now. So home, home, there we go. All right, and back to this. Talking into it, and again, and a one, and a two, and a three. So on the Mercedes chassis, the left side of your steering wheel is going to control your instrument cluster right in front of you. So your drive assist, uh, your trip, uh, trip meter, navigation, radio, and those kinds of things. On the right side, it's your telephone, answering and taking and making calls remotely, plus your entertainment cluster over here. So I've got navigation, my radio, media, info, apps that I can add to this, and driver convenience settings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and list on the screen for your benefit some of the other convenience and driver uh, settings uh, that come with Mercedes-Benz, things like adaptive cruise control, auto high beam headlights, pre-collision assist, lots of safety and convenience features that show up on this. One thing I love that Midwest does is give you a switch to open up your sliding door. So if I hit this switch, I can open up that door automatically. So if I'm playing limo driver and I'm picking up my cousins at the airport, I can just hit that switch, open up that door for them, they hop in and we're riding in style. I love that. Now check this out, right uh, to the right of the steering wheel is a control panel, which I can do a lot of controls for my light masters, my, my porch lights, inverter, my tank heaters. So if you're in cold climates, my tank heaters, water pump, water heater, all those things can be handled here. My climate control options haven't been set up yet, but they're right here. And then again, some other settings. I can do a lot of what I can do on our master control right here from the convenience of the driver's seat. Man, what a ride. Okay guys, we're in a 2024 Midwest Passage MD4 Weekender Edition. Four seats up here, comfortable. You've got heated massage seats. I've got a spacious galley here, a nice size wet bath more seating in the back and a lounge area, TV up front, TV in the back, all in a 24 foot and inches footprint. Very classy ride. I'd like to know what you think about it and if you have questions, drop them in the section below. My name is Mike. My contact information will be below as well. My phone number and email address if you're interested in this unit. I'm happy to help you. We're here in the Fort Worth area. If you're closer to the greater Houston area, we have a store there too. And we'll put a link to that store as well. Either way, we'll be happy to help you. But I'm interested to know what you think about this unit. Uh, and while you're down there, if you'd click like and subscribe, I'd be thankful. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos a lot like this. I always appreciate you joining me. We have a lot of fun doing these videos. We work hard to bring them to you. And thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.